case so loops repeating tasks manually before we write our own loops let's take a moment to develop an appreciation for loops the best way to do that is by showing you how cumbersome it would be if a repeated task required you to type out the same code every single time instructions create the variable vacation spots and assign its value to an array of three strings naming places you'd like to visit so let's create a variable I'm just going to use const vacation spots. And I'm going to assign it an array of three strings. Firstly, Paris. Then I'd like to visit, for instance, London. And then just say New York. Then it says, okay, so if I run that, that's correct. Number two, console.log each item in vacation spots. Each, it says each item. So console.log each item in vacation spots. Since we don't know loops yet, we have to console.log each element in the array separately. Okay, so console.log. <coughs> spots and we we have to log its index so at index zero then console would log vacation vacation spots at index one Next to yes, I'm gonna run that as you can see Paris, London, New York in vertical order. So, number three, nice work. Now, imagine that the vacation list had 100 places, had one, 100 places on it. Logging each array element to the console by hand would be a tedious task. In the next exercise, we will learn how to make things more efficient with for loops. Okay. Run that and that's it. Let's move on.